easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Hi, my name is Rachel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. So I know I said I was going to do a video every week for this year, but I basically had to clear out my entire iMovie space, which meant that I lost the project that I was already working on. So I'm just going to start from scratch. So hopefully I will be able to come around and make it more entertaining this time around. So basically for my first video of this year, I am planning on doing a try and haul. And then while I'm doing that try and haul, I'm going to talk about my fitness goals for 2023 particularly the first half of 2023. And then I'm also going to recap my entire first training block since my last powerlifting competition. So at my last powerlifting competition, I did 237 squat, 165 bench, 347 deadlift. And then my first training block after that was just building back up. So it was very low intensity for the most part, but I still did hit a few PRs. So I'll talk about all that. I'm talking too much already. So I'm just gonna hop right into the video. These California storms have been insane, but I'm still getting in my steps as always with my dog. I don't know if the video can capture how much it's raining, but there's puddles everywhere. It still feels so nice to be outside though, right Pretzel? So update, it's hailing. It's super fun. Pretzel! <laughs> You're so cute! Alright, so as discussed, I am going to use this time a little bit more productively to talk about my fitness goals than just talking about the clothes that I am wearing, but I have gotten suggestions for try and hauls, so I will incorporate them every now and then, so it will also be kind of like a physique update too. But anyways, the three main areas to which I always set fitness goals, and it's been like this throughout my entire life, but more intuitively since I would say the past six years since it's been totally revolving my life around fitness um but anyways the first goal is always multi-dimensional health so making sure i'm staying injury free making sure i'm feeling good in my mind in my soul in my body so all those things like getting in my 10,000 steps a day getting in my daily stretching meditating all those types of things the second goal is going to be my strength so specifically with powerlifting i do hope to compete twice within the year my next competition is going to be May of 2023, so I will commit to doing a powerlifting prep series for that one. And then as far as aesthetics go, I'm not going to do any like structured cuts or bulks this year because I'm pretty happy with where my physique is at. However, I will be okay with creeping my body weight up a few pounds within the next few months and then just leaning out a little bit more closer to the summertime and after my competition. But that's pretty much it, so I will go ahead and hop right into the rest of the video. Alright, it is Sunday right now, and thankfully it is a three-day weekend, which is super nice. Um, but basically the first six weeks of the year, every single Sunday, I'm doing an acting class, which is actually super fun. I haven't done it. It's been about five years, so getting into some new hobbies outside of fitness too, which is super nice. And then I'm also spending my Saturdays doing master's work for... Um, finishing up my master's in education so I'm basically super busy like all throughout the week because teaching is Monday through Friday full-time teaching and then on Saturdays I have master's classes on Sundays I'm doing the acting classes and then I'll also have catch-up for studying and everything so I've got a lot going on right now but fitness literally just like holds is the glue that like holds my life together always it's been like this throughout my entire life, so it's never like anything that's hard to fit in. It's always just something that I work my schedule around. So yeah, just throwing in some little extra life stuff outside of fitness, but I'll hop right into the rest of the video. All right, so the next segment of this video is going to recap my first powerlifting block after my recent competition, which I do have a video linked on my channel. I'll leave it linked down below if you haven't seen it. But anyways, so once you compete in a competition, you want to significantly reduce the intensities because you need to give your nervous system a break from like all the demands that you put on yourself. You can only be at your peak strength for a little portion of the year. So after that, you go into more like volume phases, then strength phases, then peaking phases. We kind of have to cycle in and out of those things. But 
Anyway, squats were super, super light and very much just very easing back into it. I did not have any top sets throughout this entire block. I started, as you can see, 170, 176, 182, and then 187 for three sets of five, which I would say that's like the fastest I've moved 187, which was good. So I could have probably hit a PR if I went for something. I also did have some safety bar squats programmed in. I had some high bar pause squats programmed in, and I had some just regular high bar squats. But overall squats, I am making some slight technique changes, but they are feeling really dialed in and good. And then as far as bench goes, my main bench day, I was running tempo bench. So I had 132 pounds the first week, 138 pounds the second week, 143 pounds the third week, and then 149 pounds for a PR tempo bench. And then I'll also throw in some other bench clips. I did hit another bench PR, which you'll see in just a second, which was six reps at 138 pounds. And I did actually end up hitting that PR on week three because I was a little bit too ambitious and didn't want to save it for week four because I felt like I had it. However, if I did go a little bit more conservatively on week three, I do feel that I could have pushed something a little bit heavier for a set of six on week four, but because I did that, I had to back off to a set of five at 140 pounds. I thought I was going to hit six reps, but I didn't. My best PR set of five was 143 pounds, so it was only three pounds under what my best PR set of five was. But anyways, that just goes to show what fatigue can do. And that just goes to show what overshooting your RPs can do as well. So you want to make sure you're not doing that. And then I also am trying to make pull-ups a goal this year. My all-time best AMRAP on pull-ups is 13 reps. I'm up to 10 right now because I stopped doing them for a couple of years, but they are starting to click again. So I'm hoping to get a pull-up rep PR and hopefully weighted PR this year. And then of course, all the upper body accessories, back, shoulders, triceps, biceps, just threw in a little clip here. I'm trying to keep this recap very fast and entertaining as possible. Um, but anyways, for pause deadlifts, it started very, very light. So same weight, the first and second weight, just increasing the reps and then jumping up to 242 for three sets of four the third week. And then this was actually super exciting and unexpected because I hit a pause deadlift PR set of four at 275 pounds and this like blew out of the water any other previous pause deadlift PR that I had. I think the heaviest I've ever gone on pause deadlifts was 265 for a set of two at RP8 and this felt like an RP7, like a true RP7 so I was very very happy with how this went. And then just to talk briefly about my lower body accessories for this training block, so it was very stability focused and still hypertrophy but less of the like lower end rep hypertrophy because hypertrophy technically um, starts at six rep range usually. Um, so sometimes I'll be pushing like the six to eight rep range on my hypertrophy exercises for lower body, but I was more at like the 12 to 15 end. And as you can see, this is not loaded very much. It's just focused on stability, but I'm just going to cut up the wrap up right here. So I'll catch you in the next segment of the video. Someone is super tired out from our first day back at doggy daycare in a month. <laughs> this is how I feel about the date. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. That is going to conclude it for now. So every week I'm going to have like an overarching theme for the video, but I do plan on putting some lifting footage and just regular life clips in every single video so if you have any suggestions for like main topics that you want me to cover leave those down in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching i will see you next sunday for the next video i hope you have a great rest of your day